up everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to buy a Minecraft server this is gonna be a Minecraft server that is up all the time that's up 24 hours a day seven days a week that you can give to your friends give to your family all of that stuff it is super easy to set up all you got to do is click a few buttons and your server will be up and running and again joinable from anyone in the world now we're gonna be using apex Minecraft hosting which you see on your screen right here to do this and even to build themselves is start your server in under five minutes that's gonna be true here but I'm gonna stretch you out a little bit longer just so I can make sure you guys know everything and like how to do everything your server here but nevertheless we are going to be using Apex. You can find a link to Apex in the description down below. It's actually the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex. We love Apex so much that we host our own network Minecraft server on them. Play.breakdowncraft.com. If you want to try out Apex Minecraft hosting, just go to play.breakdowncraft.com. Type that into some Minecraft server IP. Hit enter and it will take you over into our server where you'll be able to test Apex for yourself. That link in the description is an affiliate link, meaning we get a commission if you go and purchase through this link, but I think it's pretty clear we love Apex, so why wouldn't we set up an affiliate link with them if we can, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in to setting up Apex Minecraft hosting. So when you land on this page, the first thing you want to do is click on View Plans. Now, you may be taken to a page that looks like this at first. Other than the homepage, it really just depends. But once you're here, what you want to do is scroll down and kind of look at what plan you're going to want to go for. Now, there is some really good deals going on right now. The holiday sale. Apex typically has some kind of deal going on up here, so you might want to check that. But if we scroll down here, basically, these are those special offer deals, right? One gigabyte for $299 and then it's recurring at $599, $499 for 2 gigabytes, and then $999, so on and so forth. Now, it actually lists down here what these would be good for. So, a 1 gigabyte server, that's going to be a basic server. Up to 25 players is what it says, but 1.13 is a bit more laggy than other ones. So, I would probably say about 20 players, 15 to 20 players in 1.13. Basic servers and some mod packs. Your less intensive mod packs with under 100 mods are going to be able to run perfectly on this 2 gigabyte server. And then let's say you want a pretty advanced mod pack like all the mods or stone block or something like that. If you want that, you're going to be going with right here, the four gigabyte server. And then if you really want to get rocking and get a lot of people on that modded server, the six gigabyte server is a great one. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be going with the one gigabyte plan here. But you can go ahead and click order now to uh, get things started. So the first thing we want to do is see $5.99. Discount will show on the next page. We can see that it is discounted. Again, that's going to show on the next page. You want to enter your Minecraft username here. This is going to be what you log into the back end with. So you want to make sure that you know it. I'm going to go ahead and use Nick's Games for that. For our optional subdomain, you can enter this. Say you want your IP to your server to not be a bunch of numbers but be actually something you can type in we can do right here like nick's test server dot apex mc.co right there and we'll get that ip a little later on server version now you can pick tons of stuff here right from mod packs to pretty much everything now as you can see some of this requires a two gigabyte or higher server and you can see if you go in here and get a two gigabyte or higher server you can run some of these but even all the mods light here can actually run on this one gig server so if you wanted that you would click it but for the purpose of this tutorial we're just going to be going with a paper 1.13.2 server which is a super sleek super awesome distribution of minecraft 1.13.2 that gives you all the awesome banal features with the ability to add plugins and such so we're going to click on that server location i would recommend picking the one closest to you now north american east is mine they just rolled out singapore if you're in that area singapore is going to be great for you they've got australia south america europe and north american east and west i am in north american east that's the one that's close to me so that's what i'm going to go with from there we can go ahead and ignore everything else and go ahead and click continue now on this page our discount will show up and we can see that for 2.99 is what we'll be paying today not too shabby next month that'll renew at 5.99 as it's only 50 percent off the first month and then we can go ahead and click check out if uh, all that looks good which it does to me now obviously on this page i'm not going to show you all this information for my own privacy's sake but go through here in your name email phone number all of that stuff the only thing you really need to check here is obviously the email address it needs to be one they can actually reach you at because they will be sending you your back end like server login information and some very important stuff via email so i'm going to go ahead and enter all of this information here and then we'll be able to uh get going and there you go after you've entered your information on the previous page and click complete and place order at the bottom you will be taken here this is the order confirmation page and this basically has everything it has your order number and in addition to that it has 
how to get started. I mean, really and truly, I could end this tutorial here if I wanted. I mean, they even have stuff on how to install plugins and, and do everything, but that's not what this tutorial is about. It's about getting you through everything. And you might be asked, what just happened? I accidentally clicked on a, a button right there to log into the uh, basically area that we're going to be in here in a second, which is Multicraft. Now, once you get your server set up and are on this page, the first thing I would recommend doing is coming over to your email. Now, I don't have any email in here just yet because I'm still waiting on the email to come through. It could take up to 30 minutes for the email to come through, but typically it's a lot quicker than that. I just literally, right before I started recording, got this, so it's been probably less than a minute and a half since I placed my order. Once the email does come through, though, I will uh, be over here to show it to you guys. Now, eventually the email will come through. Now, this is a different email from the server I just bought because I sent it to the wrong email and went to Gmail thinking this is where it was at, but it wasn't. But it looks better on Gmail, so this is what the email will look like here. It'll have your server's IP right up here at the top, and then it'll have your billing account login where you can go to log in for that. It'll have your Multicraft login. This is your C panel, basically your control panel for your Minecraft server. We're going to be going there here in a second. And then the FTP details, which is how you're going to log into your Minecraft server and add plugins and mods and all that stuff. So that's where all of that is. But if we come over here, if this is for the server we just bought, right? That's the IP of the server we just bought. This is all the login info. I'm going to go ahead and log in right here to the C panel. So click on the login button under that. On Gmail where it looks good, it would be this login button. It'll take you off to a page that looks like this. You then want to come back over to the email, copy your login name right there. In my case, NixGames1, which is my username, but there was already a NixGames in the account, like in their system. So it went ahead and put a 1 at the end of it. And then we want to go ahead and grab our password, which is from the at sign there. Your may not have an at sign, by the way, all the way to the last letter. It's all in bold. Copy that. Come back over to Multicraft, paste it in, and click log in. Now, once you've logged into Multicraft, you're going to land on a page like this. Now, I have two servers with Apex here, two test servers. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And you'll actually probably see this page when you first log in. If that's the case, as you can see, we set this up with Paper 1.13.2 because Paper 1.13.2 is the same as Bucket 1.13.2. You can run the plugins. Paper is just much, much more efficient. But if we click on this here, we can see that there are other crafts bucket versions all the way up to 1.13.2 craft bucket 1.12.2 craft bucket and 1.12 all of them are right here now while I would recommend running paper over any of these other craft bucket distributions you can if you really want to run a bucket server so go ahead and click on that click OK and now we are on craft bucket 1.13.2 we can go ahead and click save there and uh, well that will save the jar file and we'll be good to go but that just gets bucket installed and I don't know about you but having bucket on a server doesn't mean anything without some plugins so let's go ahead and show you how to install plugins on your newly purchased bucket server now you will need FileZilla to do this which you can find linked in the description down below and if we come over here to FileZilla we can just click download FileZilla client and then we can click on download FileZilla client again. We just need FileZilla, the free version. You can click on download there and it will download in the bottom left. Their servers are currently having some issues, so uh, it's not downloading for me, but it will for you because this will be fixed by the time you're watching this video before this video even goes live. They're working on it right now, basically, and it'll be fixed very soon. So with that, it didn't download for me, but it will for you. Luckily, I already have it downloaded. So let's go ahead and come back over to Multicraft here, go into FTP file access, and then then right here is where we can find our FTP information for FileZilla. So if I minimize my browser, actually I'm just going to drag this over here so we can then go ahead and open up FileZilla right like so. We can enter the information from our Apex Minecraft hosting account into FileZilla. So for our host, we're going to copy the FTP address. For our username, we are going to copy the FTP username. For our port, well, obviously, we're going to put 21. And for our password, this is actually going to be your Multicraft password. So if I go ahead and paste that in right there, we can now click Quick Connect, and it will log us on into the server. Just click OK on that pop-up box, and there we go. As we can see, we have a Plugins folder here. And if we go ahead and go into that Plugins folder, we can see that I have previously installed Grief Prevention on this server. But what plugins should you install? Well, we have a complete list of plugins that you should install on your server at the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash spigot plugins. Again, as we discussed, spigot plugins work on bucket, bucket plugins work on spigot, and they both, bucket and spigot plugins, work on paper servers. So once we're here, we can see that this is the top 10 list of the best 
Minecraft server plugins. Most of these are updated for 1.13. Dot two. Let's go ahead and grab a random one. We will do, let's see, let's see. I don't know if any of these are really catching my eye. We can do, uh, we can do clear lag. That's actually a pretty cool one. So if we go ahead and click on clear lag here. Basically, it's going to make your server less laggy. Simple as that. Now, this one is, as you can see, 2017, but I know for a fact that this version does work on 1.13 servers. So if we go ahead and click on download latest file, it will download in the bottom left where we can keep the file. Once we've kept the file there, it will show up over here. We can refresh to make it do so. Boom. So right click and refresh. However, you will need to come up here to the top and select where the file saved. In my case, my desktop. In your case, it might be your downloads folder or something like that, but that's where you need to go to find the file. Once you've found it, just click it from over here in this window. This is the local, like this is your computer, this is your server. Drag it from over here on your computer into your server. Then we wanna come back over here to Apex Minecraft Hosting, click the back button here, and then we can go ahead and restart the server. It'll go ahead, take a second, and restart the server. Start it back up with the plugin installed. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and open up Minecraft here and then log in to 1.13.2 to show you that clear lag is in fact up and working on the server. Also need to make sure that this account is opt on this server because uh, it is different from the one that I originally started. So if we do op right here, so op, and then our username, which is Nick's Games. It will go ahead, or an op us here, and actually on my alt, my bad, op Nick King, it will op us on the server as well. As you can see, server is starting, so we are good to go there. We are loading the config for craft bucket 1.13.2. What's actually cool, if we go back here by clicking on the three arrows at the top, and then go into our jar file, we'll be able to see that there is a craft bucket 1.13.2 jar file right there. There's paper there because we had previously ran paper on this server, but now that it's craft bucket 1.13.2, that jar file is there as well. But if we come back into plugins now, we will see that clear lag will appear right here if we refresh there it is there's our clear lag config that means it has successfully installed over here and if we scroll back in the console we should be able to see it even loading clear lag there it's loading clear lag and there it is loading grief prevention both of our plugins just to prove this even more let's go ahead and jump on in game let's go back to our main server page here grab our ip address from right here paste it into our multiplayer as a direct connection, just because I don't have any interest in adding this server, it's a temporary server. And so if we go ahead and jump on in here, we will be able to see, this is a pretty cool spawn. For those of you who might want the seed of this, there it is. But if we do slash lag check, we can see clear lag running. I mean, that looks like clear lag to me. And we can see the current TPS of the server, 18.51, not too shabby. And then we can do also like lag kill mobs, for example, and it will remove all hostile mobs. And then we can check grief prevention by doing slash game mode creative. Just realized we were in creative, but I've committed game mode creative, grabbing ourselves a golden shovel here and going ahead and making a claim, which I think I've done in this area already. Yeah, as you can see, there's a claim there. But if we can come up here, we can click there, run over here, and I, I don't have any I don't have any claim blocks, to be honest. I don't know if it'll let me because I, yeah. I, okay, there we go, there we go. So now we've got this claim set up. We've got another claim down here, boom. And yeah, there you go. Grief prevention is installed and clear lag is installed, which is the uh, plugin we installed in this video. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. Apex also has an incredible support system. At any time, you can click on submit ticket up here next to the logo and get help from them after you log into your billing account. They also have live chat that's up most of the time. Down here in the bottom right, there's a little Apex logo. You can click on that and get live chat support when they are online. But nonetheless, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, not only on Apex servers, but on Minecraft in general. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.